This historical moment poses a strong challenge to us from the perspective of hope. It has to do with the biblical dimension of hope, hypomene, to pause, to await, to wait until the end for someone or something. In the absolute sense, it means to resist, also to stand waiting for the enemy's assault, to resist the enemy, to uphold, to endure, to tolerate, to persist in something, to persevere, to remain. It is about living hope as patience, as permanence, as resistance, persistence and endurance, as sustained passion, as a burning fire that persists despite the winds that try to suffocate it. It is not something passive, it is always active, as is hope, but with an action that is endurance, fortitude, active and persevering resistance, and involves standing up to adversity. It is precisely there, in adversity, where it is exercised. To be women of hope today asks us to resist, to be resistant women. Resistance not only to the difficulties, to the calamities, to the conflicts proper to existence, and to those that we create for selves. Contemplating his heart leads us to look at the world with active hope. To illuminate. Patient and resistant hope. Resistance to uncertainty and to the limits of our own human condition. Resistance to the difficulties that the world places in the way of our intentions. Resistance to the obstacles that hope encounters. Resistance as endurance, but above all, resistance as strength, fortitude in the face of the forces of hopelessness, destruction and deterioration that come, sometimes from the environment, sometimes from self. Resistance to frustration, to broken projects, to unachieved goals, to failed attempts to move forward, to change, on a personal level, on community level, in our ministry, in our own institute, church, or society. Resistance to the cultural waves that try to convince us that we must place our hope in the search for self-fulfillment, in a substitute for life that supposedly brings happiness, understood as individual fulfillment, achievement, and success. Resistance as a pause and a depth that gives us space to discern and to persist. Even when it seems that nothing and no one takes steps towards what has been discerned. Resistance as a place, as a space where it is possible to welcome and to give hospitality to those who can't take it anymore, to those who are discouraged, to those who can't fight anymore. Resistance also in its more political sense and colloquial, as opposition of a small group to the domination imposed by an occupation or by a totalitarian government. I like this image as a challenge. Resistance speaks to us of a group, a small group, a group with a common hope, a group that has to disperse in order to survive, and that resists a hostile environment that seeks something very different than what the group dreams of. This attitude of resistance, which constitutes hope, no longer support delays, it must be given in the present, speaking against the current situation, and is inseparable from the care of the other and of oneself. Like a doctor in time of war, who cannot abandon himself or his patients, their sister remains firm in their purpose and trusts in the fruitfulness of their action, even if its fruits are not immediate, because, in the end, they know that their hope is a gift and that the fruits are given by another. Supporting Text we remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Parable of the Weeds and the Wheat Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. The Woman with a Hemorrhage The Pozo Negro of Martinez Campos, testimony to the enduring hope in our history, this humble place was sanctified by the abnegation and fervor of our Holy Mother Foundress and the First Sisters. They emptied the cesspool by hand in painful vigils, with Saint Raphaela Mary claiming for herself the most arduous part of the task. Reflection and Sharing Here are some questions that may help you reflect and then share in community. Remember to take notes and write down what you want to communicate. Where should I be more resistant? In what sense, in what aspects should take more care of this dimension? Do I perceive that I have a resistance group to support me? Do I take care of them? Do we take care of each other? 
we share in community by means of the listening circles. This is a translation of a Spanish poem. It may be best to find something from our own cultures that speaks to this daring hope. Sometimes you have to wait, because words take time, and life suspends its flow. Sometimes you have to be silent, because tears speak, and there is nothing more to say. Sometimes you have to yearn, because reality is not enough, and the present does not bring answers. Sometimes you have to believe, against the evidence, and the demanded surrender. Sometimes you have to look, right in the middle of the fog, where the light seems most absent. Sometimes it is necessary to pray, even if the only possible prayer is an interrogation. Sometimes you have to be patient and sit by the tiles that will not last forever.